we're kind of arguing because RJ says I should continue vlogging, just snippets of this, but I feel like we should follow the rules. Good morning, my boy squad. Thanks for tuning in to another vlog. We are checking out of our beautiful resort here in Shamreep, Cambodia. It's been a wonderful time here in Cambodia. Hope you enjoyed this Cambodia series. We'll definitely be back. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful place. And the wildlife here is incredible. Seriously, insects, frogs, birds, you name it. Lizards, they're all here. Okay, we're riding a tuk-tuk. Okun. Yes. So guys, we need to look for a place to eat before flying back to Manila. All right, so we've decided we're going to try this North Korean restaurant. We're assuming it's North Korean because Pyongyang is North Korea. Whoa, this place is massive. So they've led us to these private rooms and apparently I'm not allowed to take photos. But they didn't say anything about video. <laughs> Why wouldn't they allow us to take photos in a restaurant? This place is strict like North Korea, my goodness. All right, they allowed us to go in. Hello. Thank you. Guys, RJ and are talking. And this place is a little strange. <gasps> yes, we're from Philippines. Yeah. Have you been to the Philippines? No. How about you? You come from North Korea? North Korea? Oh. We love to go there too. All the staff is North Korean. Have you been to North Korea? No. No, we've, we've never been to. to North Korea. Nice. We want to go there. North Korea is very nice. No. Yeah? Hey. Where? Is it safe? Huh? Is North Korea safe? North Korea is safe. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, not allowed to film. So RJ and I right now are debating. We're kind of arguing because RJ says I should continue vlogging, just snippets of this. But I feel like we should follow the rules of this place and not vlog. What do you think, Mabuhay Squad? RJ wants me to continue vlogging. I'm scared. The food arrived, Mabuhay Squad. Raw beef. I'm not allowed to film the food. It's useless. Thank you. Walking for the door. Oh my god. I 
am so disturbed by that. Oh. <laughs> We're going back to the lobby of the hotel to hang out till our flight. RJ, first of all, what? I'm really disturbed with how calm you are through all of that. That was the creepiest experience ever. And not cheap, mind you. That Mikey, was $60. Mikey, Mikey $60 funny. to be fearful for my life. Super funny. It's not relaxed. He wasn't relaxed the whole time. You, I should, did. you should be discreet. The food was good. Discreet? I shouldn't be filming at a place like that. Psst. He's just scared. He was just scared. And he, he was paranoid the whole time. Yeah, paranoid, yeah. But then RJ started mentioning, yeah, when we're in North Korea, this is how you're gonna be. And I'm like, RJ, in North Korea, if they tell us not to film, I am not filming. Who cares about being discreet? They're gonna put me in like years and years of li hard labor. Well, you're in Cambodia, nothing will happen to you. You know what I mean? Oh, that they, was. They crazy. will not put up. Uh, uh, they will not put up a restaurant in other countries. If it would be, you know, it, it, it would. It would be something that will that, that will scare people. Well, that was pretty darn scary. I'm sorry. And they were just like standing there, like over our shoulder silently going like this I'm just so disturbed this story of us going there inside the restaurant is very interesting and I, it will be our, it will be my first time it will be your first time and you know that's okay but having to break the rules to vlog not really breaking the rules you can be discreet you know they said clearly no videotaping the boy squad who do you whose side are you on RJ's Risking your life at a restaurant yeah. to vlog or my side following the rules if they say no vlogging no vlogging We're not risking our life Mikey. It's just a very normal experience to eat in a restaurant What makes it unique is that it's a, a North Korean restaurant and it's not common There's not a lot of North Korean restaurants in the world for us to experience that. I think that's that's something Very, you know, very, I agree. Very, very I awesome. loved the experience but having to vlog it when it wasn't when it was bawal and not allowed, that experience I didn't enjoy. I'm up for any experience. I ate bugs yesterday. <laughs> That's different. And guys, these servers were asking us so many mysterious questions like, where are you from? It's not mysterious. What questions. country? What do you do for work? Do you have family? I'm like Yes, we have lots and lots of family waiting for us at the airport. They are just curious about stuff. Like, How much money do you make? They never ask that question. If we get you for ransom, <laughs> never ask that. How much will you be worth? He was so scared the whole time. Scared cat, Mikey. I'm like, are why are they wanting to know these questions? Because Mikey, in North Korea, everything is controlled. It's very controlled, so. These ladies are, I think, were, they were just very curious about everything. They just want to know something about you, or maybe their, their English vocabulary and their, their converse, converse, communication skills very, is very limited. It's not extensive, and that they just want to start conversation by asking some personal information. Hmm. Well, I do feel bad then. If their life is so controlled and contained that they're curious about the outside world now i feel bad i wish they could watch our mabuhay spot vlogs these vlogs so that they can see that the world is actually a big place and arjun and i were talking and apparently even though they're here in cambodia these north korean workers their lives are super duper monitored still right like the restaurant manager i think is still responsible for everyone he monitors everyone so if something happens if they commit a mistake like he's responsible with the embassy or the the people the north korean officer in cambodia so if we upload this vlog and then that restaurant gets in trouble by the embassy will they be deported i don't think so all right anyways my boy squad hope you enjoyed this very interesting <laughs> vlog like comment share and subscribe to this channel because we have a lot of travels ahead discovering a lot of the world our travels next will bring us to philippines and then south korea yes where we bring one of you mabuhay squad with us we ran a contest of course last year and the winner was selected and she's gonna be coming with all of us to south korea so stay tuned for that can we bring one mabuhay squad in north korea 
Yes, they can take my place. <laughs> Bye. Well, that was scary. And I would hope that if we go to North Korea, See? that See? you don't insist we vlog it's there. Specifically, if it's not allowed. Because I don't want to be arrested. No, it operates under the supervision of the Tortured for years till I die. Safety first. Our lives first before viewership.